Kia ora, I'm Joel. I'm the winemaker here at Lunar Estate, located in the beautiful wine growing region of Martinborough, New Zealand. The two vineyards are located about 15 kilometres apart. The larger of the two is the Blue Rock Vineyard. It's a hillside site, frost free, north facing and elevated. The other site is down in the Purutanga Road Terrace. It's uh, lower down and it's on the ancient river gravels. It's a big advantage having uh, two quite unique sites. Um, they both bring different qualities to the table. Well, I find that Pinot Noir from this site here typically is silkier and more sort of fruit heavy and perhaps a little softer and uh, contrasts very well with the more structured, uh, more tannic, more sort of sturdy, savoury Pinot Noir from down on the terrace. And so when you're making an individual Pinot Noir from each individual site, they show the differences, but when they're combined, the sum of the parts turns into something really special as well. A lot of different factors need to combine uh, in order to have the right area and region to grow any grape wine, but more particularly Pinot Noir. So something that Marbra has uh, that's unique is uh, the mighty Nor'wester. This cools our region off significantly. Pinot Noir does not like the heat, nor does it like anything too cold. So you get these lovely long hot summers here, mitigated by this um, uh, ever-present Nor'wester. It helps to keep things dry, and it also helps to cool things off. As somebody who produces wine, it's very important to always have your own kind of ethos, and I suppose, if for want of a better word, style about how you actually like to create the wines. Mine's quite simple. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge believer in, in, in where we farm, and the fruit we produce being of quality enough to express its own site. So I am lucky enough that I don't have to do a hell of a lot. I really just shepherd the fruit through. Um, and keep uh, those flavours safe and keep those flavours fresh. Uh, so that really is my winemaking style. I, I try not to impact too much on the wines. We recently uh, pulled out around 17 hectares of Sauvignon Blanc, which is just about uh, a third of our entire vineyard, and replanted that in Pinot Noir. We're, we're really big believers in Pinot Noir from Martinborough, and that is the, uh, the variety we believe Martinborough does the best. One of only a few places in the world that can actually grow world-class Pinot Noir. So of course, the harvesting the fruit's only a part of the, uh, the year-round calendar. So in the coming months, we get to really look forward to the wines beginning to take shape and really starting to express their personalities. So what we'll be doing over the next uh, few months is regularly looking in on different batches and different barrels, tasting those wines, and just trying to get a sort of a crystal ball, I suppose, and, and imagine what those wines are gonna look like as they develop throughout the coming year. I guess it's a real privilege and a real honor to be able to work as a custodian of uh, this beautiful land, this beautiful vineyards that we that we work with and, and that we harvest from, and it's just a it's a it's an immense uh, I get immense satisfaction out of crafting a, a product and that I can send all over the world and that people can enjoy. It's an amazing thing to be able to do to, to take this land and, and, and the fruits it's produced and turn it into something um, an agricultural product that people can enjoy all over the world uh, for years to come. And uh, one thing about wine that's truly unique, particularly well-made. Pinot Noir is that it is something that just gets better with age and better with time and, uh, and that's, a, that's an amazing thing to be able to do and to contribute to the overall wine story of New Zealand.